it's high time we come to a conclusion on the matters of unity. Whether you realize it or not, this video, along with The Vessel and Kabbalah, There Is No Separation In Them, are directly related to each other. This time we move on, mostly to have the full revelation of non-dualistic philosophy. We begin with an earnest question. What is nothing without, beyond the manifest and unmanifest? It is noted as Ain. We say it is all one, unfettered and unbroken, beyond the inclination of space and reason. The reality of such is in a yin me yesh and yesh me a yin. Something from nothing, nothing from something. This phrase alone is a great secret, noted by perspective. There are two paths, Susti Krama and Samhara Krama. Totality and creation, and creation's return to totality. The generation of universes is in a constant state, thus there is no time and space in which only one of the two paths are being traveled. They are overlapping and occurring simultaneously. How might this appear to us? It is just as the light ascends and descends between Adonai and Ain. It is just as the angels in the vision of Jacob's ladder. It is as consistent and simple as breathing, as the heart beating, and this beat is the fluctuation of entirety, the flux of the one reality. The Hridaya in Kor, Paramasiva. Let us consider Abhaniva Gupta, who brings about signs and relations towards this one reality. He phrases it as the absolute potential, or visarga. It is in his mind the paradoxical and ultimately immense resounding silence. To the Kabbalists this is called the silent hay, otherwise it has been called kala. The silent hay is unmoving, and within its lettering, just as seen in Bahir, it is the four and the ten, for hay is formed of dilet and yud. However, we must remember that the hay is silent. It is a paradoxical, resounding silence. The inconceivable coexist in opposites. Still and unmoving, yet eternally moving and unstill. It is truly all. Here then is the highest difficulty. Ultimate non-duality. Paramadvaya. Let's open with a statement. When we as human beings look upon non-dualism, there is inherently, to some unwavering degree, a distinction of self amidst the conscious faculties, against the divine and not divine, between I and not I. But we philosophize non-dualism, to say that each is connected one within the other, that there is no separation in them. But what form includes duality? As in, where are duality and non-duality coexistent? Obviously here, we can perceive duality by way of experience and also union. This is the fluctuation of the one reality mentioned prior. This is Sosti Krama as duality and Samhara Krama as unity. Dualism has a capacity to exist because of the presentation of the I and subsequent ego. But if it was all for naught, then it wouldn't even have the capacity to exist. Yet it does. Observer and observed alike, one and not one, to be one and not one is the all-encompassing base of Paramadvaya. The Thelemites entertain it and explain it as zero equals two a cute yet profound item of the occult world. To he that says, what a lunacy, to think that unity and duality are coexistent, is it not so that with varying degrees of form and levels of existence, that on one level things are called united, and on another it is dual? The highest potentiality of Ain provides for both possibilities within itself. Therein we come to a beautifying truth. 
Nothingness allows for somethingness, and somethingness might split. Of course, it isn't really split, but for the sake of interaction, for the perfection of it, and because of the requited love of man to his creator, and eternal love of creator to his man. It is a transrational reality. We might even say of the prayers of the Zadik, that prayer ending as whose word has made all things? Let's consider what all really means. It means the fullness, beyond the conceptions of good and evil, beyond the conceptions of dualism and unity, beyond, beyond the veils. This is the resounding silence, the fluctuation in stillness, the part and the whole, non-encompassed. This is what we might call truth. <laughs>